Rita Gutierrez Garcia was missing for four years before police found her remains earlier this year. And now the man who killed her will be behind bars for what is likely the rest of his life. Nine News reporter Noel Brennan is at the Boulder County Courthouse this afternoon where Juan Figueroa Jr. appeared in front of a judge today. Noel. Alex, from the very beginning, Juan Figueroa Jr. was a suspect in the disappearance and murder of Rita Gutierrez Garcia. In fact, he was in prison last year on other crimes when he was charged for uh, second degree murder and first degree kidnapping. And he confessed, led police to Rita's body in April. And his name is the one that Rita Gutierrez Garcia's family hopes is forgotten in the future. Figueroa took a plea deal today and was immediately sentenced to 48 years in prison. He confessed to killing Rita Gutierrez Garcia on St. Patrick's Day in 2018. She was a daughter, a sister, and a mom to three boys. Her family filled the courtroom this afternoon and several of them spoke before the sentencing. They remembered Rita for her laugh, her sense of style, her love of shoes, and music. They called Figueroa a coward and a monster. After the sentencing, Rita's mom shared what it means to be able to lay her daughter to rest after more than four years. With today, we have this victory, and we cannot wait to be able to give Rita the peace and the rest her body needs. As I've mentioned, as you've heard me so many times say, I know where Rita is. I know it was just her body that we had been missing. I know Rita is looking down on us right now, and she's probably doing some crazy little dance. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I am so glad for that. Figueroa will serve that sentence alongside a 93 year to life sentence on separate crimes that he was already in prison for. Rita's family wanted to thank law enforcement, specifically the detectives who stayed on this case and, and never gave up. They have waited more than four years for this day. They did call it justice, guys, but they also said that they will never completely heal from what happened. Of course not, Noel, but it is nice to see because it took so many years to find a resolution in this case, um, something for the family to have a little bit of closure, perhaps. So, uh, Noel Brennan, thank you for your reporting.